Hello, lovies. One footsie hop means he loves it. We're in the shade right now and give him a little kale snack. Mm -hmm. One footsie hop means he loves it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he loves this type of kale. So I thought you would enjoy seeing him up close and personal. Having a little snacky snack. And I thought I'd give you some fun facts about him. The first one is that we do, oh, let me clean your eyeballs. There we go. The first fun fact that not everyone knows about is that we do know Tilly G's age from the veterinarians, the vets at the Humane Society, who gave us a pretty good estimate of his age. So he's 10 years old and he'll be turning 11 in December, which is right around the corner. Are you ready for sweater weather? I am. <laughs> Have you had enough of this heat? Actually, I do love summer. It's like my favorite. And, oh, I'll let you loveys know when the turtle ring is back in stock on Amazon. It sold out last time I mentioned it. Because <laughs> it's only a few dollars and it's so cute. They don't have to worry about it. So anyway, um, we're gonna celebrate his birthday every year. We have a celebration and he has a feast and all the puppies are there. The kitties celebrate inside. And so it's coming up in December, pretty soon. And then of course, um, another kind of fun fact that not everyone knows about is that, um, but you probably know, but just reminding you if you're new here, that um, when we first adopted Tilly G from the Humane Society, they told us that uh, Tilly was a female. That was our best guesstimate because the way you tell if a tortoise is male or female is um, by the bottom of their shell, the plastron underneath. And at the time, in females, it's flat. In males, it's concave so that they can get on top of the females. So it's gotta be kind of concave or rounded. And so when tortoises are tiny, oh, sweetie, you cannot sit in my lap anymore. <laughs> oh, remember when you used to sit in my lap? So um, he's gonna try. Oh. So when he when tortoises are tiny, you okay? Sit in my lap, sweetie. We'll just stare at the second wall. <laughs> while I give you shell rubbies. Um, and so when we adopted him, he was tiny. He fit in the palm of my hand, didn't you? And um, the bottom of the the bottom of his. Um, this is the carapace and underneath is the plastron. And um, I got one more for you. And it was, it was straight because he was tiny. He fit in the palm of my hand. And the only way really to tell, you can tell also by the size of their tail, but when they're babies, you can't really tell um, when they fit in the palm of your hand or smaller than that. You can't really tell what size they, if they're male or female, unless you do an X-ray. And um, he had been, sick he had a cracked shell he had a respiratory infection um, I think he had been with the Humane Society for months before we adopted him and um, they told me that he had been very sick he had a cracked shell all that stuff and they could have done an x-ray to tell if he was male or female but he'd already been through so much and they basically saved his life at that point it wasn't important to us about whether he was male or female. So that's why we named him Tilly. And then uh, we found out, we were surprised to find out, there's ways you can tell once they get bigger. You can tell like the males have longer tails than the females. There's other ways to tell. Um, and we discovered that um, she was in fact a he because male tortoises have male parts. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll just leave it at that so I don't get another uh, violation, community guideline violation like I did on that one video. I got a community violation on Instagram. Can you believe that? I always hear every day that this is the most wholesome account ever, but it was that video where he was bulldozing um, the hibiscus, and I guess they thought that was dangerous. Do not try that at home, people. <laughs> But anyway, uh, so I'll just leave it at that. We found out that he was in fact, she was a he. And I'll leave it at that. 
you can uh, DM me if you want more details. <laughs> and that's why we added the G. Or um, my husband's like, let's give him a, a male name. So we named him Gordy after Gordy Howe, my husband's favorite hockey player of all time. But the funny thing is that Gordy is also kind of one of those names that is male or female. And Tilly is too. Tilly is one of those names that um, you can be male or female. And at the end, it doesn't really matter. It's just a funny story now. And the rest is history. So I thought I would give you a little behind the scenes today. Uh-oh, let's see if he's gonna bulldoze today. And let's go check in on the puppies and the kitties. They're inside. They already had their morning breakfast. It's kind of mid, uh, it's almost afternoon. Oh, 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 but they're wide awake. Oh, you wanna come out? No, oh, we have to keep you inside. Yes, just for a little bit. Okay. Oh, I know, I know, I know. But there's coyotes out there, sweetie, and it's not worth it. It's not worth it. So, um, oh, my setting on my phone says more light required. So let's come over here, everybody. Sparky Doodle Boodle. Oh, hi, Stevie boy. Oh, that's a good toy. That's a good toy. Let's see. Everybody's going to relax and have a nap. It's good to have a nap in the afternoon. It is. It is, Stevie boy. It's good to have a nap in the afternoon. And then, um, then after that, we're going to see. We're going to go outside and play. But for now, we're just going to be inside. Is that okay if we're inside for now? Oh, Pippi. You know, I don't get, I don't capture Pippi on video that much because she's so fast. Like, it's hard to, Pippi. Pippi, no, don't fall off, sweetie. Sweetie, don't fall off. Sparky doodle woodle. See, she's always moving. She's always, oh, Pippi. Pippi, Pippi, I know you got an itch, but, but sweetie, you have to, you cannot be a billy goats. A billy goats? Yes. And let's peek in. Okay, so also I want to show you pee pads. Always use pee pads because that way they can stay inside more. Of course, we love to run around and play outside, and they're usually outside a lot more. But there have been a lot of coyote sightings in our neighborhood, so I'm just not going to risk it. You guys are too precious to me, and I'm not going to risk it. No, I'm not going to risk it. And here's a kitty, hi. And here I am, hello, hello, hello. It's me. <laughs> oh, I hope you enjoyed that dancing video of, um, I do dance with them and we have a dance party and maybe we'll do another one for you, but I hope you enjoyed it. And then um, also the kitties are probably sleeping and Tilly G looks like he's going to be bulldozing today, but it's gonna be a good day. Hello, pumpkin kitty. Hello. Where's your other ginger twin? Where's the ginger twin? Hmm? Hmm? He's good. Oh, you want to play? You want to play? Okay, give me that toy. Give me that toy. <laughs> oh, sweetie. Sweetie. Let's play inside, okay? Okay? Maybe it won't be coyote season in a little bit, and then we'll play and play and play. Yeah. Yes, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. <laughs> oh, and I wanted to show you more um, turtles and stuff. Look at this one. Isn't that cool? There's little seashells in there. Here's more up here, down here. Pippi pups. Sit like a good girl, Pippi. <laughs> Pippi, sit like a good girl. Sparky Doodle, what is all this silliness that's going on? Should we do brushing today? Yes, we'll do blessings today. And we'll do grooming soon. You'll get a little tiny haircut. Maybe not a drastic one like your summer haircut. But we'll do that soon because you're getting like a woolly mammals. Yes, a woolly mammals. Oh, I like your haircut. So anyway, love you friends. Hugs to you. I hope you enjoyed this extra long 10 minute video. Do you want to do something? Do you want to go somewhere? Do you want to go somewhere with Grandmama? 
Yes, hugs to you. Oh, so hope you love this extra long 10 minute video that was made with love for you. Love you. What do you want?